Are we about to see an $18,000 Bitcoin? That's the question everybody's wondering. Are we going to see a $14,000 Bitcoin? We are going to be looking at the charts objectively and answering that question today. So make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell for notifications because we are bringing you the juiciest and the most timely Bitcoin updates here on YouTube. And yes, guys, I'm still holding the swing short trade here. The setup that we gave in the Casper Crew VIP Discord. And when we gave this trade setup in the Casper Crew VIP Discord, we understood that the context of the market it was that we were coming up to a very important zone of resistance that 25 to 85 area it was a 200 week moving average it was the value area high of a year long range and as we saw market cipher b it was getting lower with momentum and money flow as the price was getting higher giving us that dreaded upside down sam bankman freed man boot pattern where just like market cipher sam bankman's money flow and momentum waves on his chest are getting lower as the price is getting higher now here's the thing we are coming down to some very important zones of support that we really do need to be aware of. And as you can see right now, we are coming down to the first major zone, which is the Fibonacci golden pocket retracement from the most recent swing low that we put in back in December, all the way up to the high that we put in at 25 to 85. So is this support going to hold? Well, the way I like to look at supports to determine whether or not they're going to hold is I like to look at market cipher to ask myself, is it more probable that the support will hold or is it more probable that we are going to lose the support and what i like to do is i like to look at the four hour time frame what we want to see on the four hour time frame to determine whether or not a support is going to hold is we want to see a bullish divergence right we want to see market cipher doing something like this where momentum and money flow is getting higher as the price is getting lower very similar to what we saw back here when we put in our last swing low on february 10th right this basically was telling us that we were going to get another move to the upside however when we look at market cipher right now it's telling me that the bottom is not in but there's a chance that we could get a retracement here because we have such a deep wave on market cipher b right but what we want to see to determine a real bottom is something like this we want to see price continuing to get lower and momentum getting higher giving us that coveted uneven butt cheek pattern where we have a juicy left butt cheek and a skinny right butt cheek so in my opinion i don't think that this is going to hold but it could give us a retracement and by the way guys this is very important as traders, it does not matter what the news is saying. It does not matter what the price is doing. We long and we short, right? We long and we short. Currently, right now, I am in a long trade from the bottom here. I'm going to talk about how I actually got into this trade so that you yourself can take very similar trades. But first, let's talk about a few things. Where else can we expect to find support on the way down? Because if we know where these zones of support are on the way down, we can enter into trades. And if we know what to look for, we can determine, is it going to be a scalp trade, like the trade I'm in right now? Or is it going to be a swing trade, like the setup that we gave in the Casper Crew VIP Discord? And by the way, if you want to join the Casper Crew VIP Discord, where we give the trade setups, we give the levels in advance. In fact, the level that we took that long from right here, the level was given in advance. Last night, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Jason Casper to join the community. And if you want to take advantage of trading on Bybit with 0% limit fees, um, well, click the link in the description, guys. It's actually a really good deal, especially if you are trading on lower term timeframes. And if you deposit $100, you can get a month free of our amazing tool, the Crypto Fusion Trading Bot. For more information on the bot, check out jasoncaspertrading.com. Click the Jason Casper Trading Bot button. It will explain exactly what this amazing tool is. So as we continue down, there are a few other major zones that I am being aware of right now. So the first one is if we lose this golden pocket just below is uh, going to be this value area low of the range, all right, coming in right around that $18,200. This is actually very, very key for me because as you can see, if we're not going to hold that golden pocket, then we make our way back down to this very important support resistance flip, that 18.2 area, 18,000 to 18.3. When we look at the chart, we can see two very important things about this level. Number one, it has acted as support many times in the past, in June, in September, in October, and then it acted as resistance in November and December. And support and resistance flips, they, they, it's like a floor, it's like floors of a house, right? You got your first floor of the house right here, and you've got your basement down here. And so when you go from the basement to the upstairs, what used to be the ceiling now becomes the floor. We can look for some kind of support there. And so what am I going to be looking for as we come down there? I am going to be looking for that uneven butt cheek pattern on market cipher B. Now, if we lose this key level, the next major zone below us is going to be the high volume node of this lower basement range coming in at around 16,000 
$800. This is going to be a very, very key zone as well. And the reason for that is because this right here, it's many confluences in one. We actually have a very, very uh, large amount of levels in this one little zone. So first of all, I will be looking for a bounce here with four hour divergences. Second of all, I'll be looking for a bounce here with four hour divergences. And if we don't hold that, I will be looking to take these lows. Now, again, it's very important that as traders, we just pay attention to the charts and we long and we short and we don't let the emotions uh, get the best of us. And let me kind of walk you through a way that you can take scalp trades in a big downtrend like this. All right. What I like to do is, first of all, you need to have a level marked out in advance, right? You need to have a level marked out in advance. So what was the level that we were looking for along right here? It was two things. It was the Fibonacci golden pocket. And also, if we take a look at the uh, the CME futures market, we can see that we left a gap behind on the way up. What is the CME futures gap? It's basically where uh, the Bitcoin price continues to trade over the weekend, but the futures market does not continue to trade over the weekend. And so on the futures chart, the Friday candle closes right here. And then the Sunday candle opens up right here. And more times than not, these gaps fill. And when they do fill, they can act as a zone of support on the way down. So we had a very clear level marked out right here. And then what we want to see is we want to see on some of these medium term time frames, as we are coming down to the level, we want to see are we forming bullish divergences as we come down to that level. And as you can see right here, let me go ahead and remove this indicator so that it doesn't mess up the chart. As you can see right here, as we did come down to this very key zone of support, we did in fact get bullish divergences on our indicator as we touched into that level, right? You could see that the, um, Momentum waves were getting higher. We want to see the momentum waves and the money flow getting higher. And I like to use the 12 or 15 minute chart to determine this. Once you see that you are getting a bounce from that level, then what you are going to do is you are going to go down to a very low time frame and you are going to pull a Fibonacci retracement tool from the first low that we put in to that first high that we put in, right? Watch for the first low to the first high, right? very locally and then you want to mark the zone between the golden pocket and the 786 fibonacci right make sure to like the video make sure to subscribe to the channel because we are bringing the juice right here for free then what we want to do as we see that we are coming down to retest the golden pocket 786 is we want to go on a very low time frame and see is market cipher giving us upward direction here do we see the money flow getting higher as we come back for the retest? And do we see the momentum waves getting higher as we come back for the retest? If the answer is yes, this gives us a great scalp trade entry. Again, the steps are wait for the level to be hit with bullish divergences on the medium term timeframes, like the 20 minute, the 10 minute. If it's hit and if we get a bounce, pull your fib from the first low to the first high that we put in and then wait for price to retrace it back to the golden pocket 786. And if you see continued direction here on market cipher, momentum and money flow on the one minute and three minute, that can be a great scalp entry. That's what's so great about technical analysis, guys. And if this is something you want to learn how to do, check out the course at jasoncaspertrading.com. 20% discount in the description if you use the coupon code Juicy Discount, And this will give you the point A to point B system so that you always know where you're looking to take a trade. There's no chasing price. There's no trading with emotion. There's planning. There's risk management, their strategy. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, click the bell for notifications, and I will see everybody in the next video. Peace, y'all.